Okay, let's look at number three and four. Uh, number three says construct a group frequency table with at least four classes. I've taken my data set and I've uh, written it in one column in an increasing order as I showed you before using Excel by copying my data. Then I'll do it one last time, copying the data, moving it to a blank sheet somewhere else, pasting it here. And then you can just grab the numbers and put them underneath each other like that. Not that difficult. And then drag them here. And then grab these numbers and bring them right under it. And then select the whole thing and use the funnel to organize them from smallest to largest. And then I copy pasted them back into where the problem is at. So that's how I brought these, uh, organized these uh, data set, given data sets in an increasing order. Now look at the first one, it's 57 to 145. So I think I'm going to make my classes uh, and frequencies. So here's my frequency table. And let me make the columns a little wider. There we go, and center everything. All right, for my classes, I'm starting at 57, so something close to it will be a nice and round. It will be 55. Uh, and I think I'll just do 55 to 65. Let's see if that works. 65 to 75. Would that be too much? Yeah, I think so. 75 to 85. 85 to 95. Uh, 95 to 105 uh, by going to units of tens, right? So 105 to 115, and then 115 to 125, and then 125 to 135. So you see, at this point, I've gone way beyond the allowable. Remember, I said you have to construct your frequency tables using anywhere between four to six classes. So putting them in units of tens is too little. So let's see, I do 55, let's go units of 20, 75. So 55 to 75, 75 plus 20 is 95. And 95 plus 20 is 115, All right? So 50, 60, 70, 70, 80, 90, 90, 100, 115, 110, that's right. So then by units of 20, so 115, uh, plus 20 is 135, 135 plus 20 is 155, and that does it because my last number is 145, and that's within the limits, and I've stayed 1, 2, 3, 4, f with 5 classes. Now, it'll be easy for me to do the count, and again, remember, you're writing 55 to 75 to avoid the gaps when you're drawing the histogram, but when you're counting, you can't double dip, so you never count the upper class limit. So here in reality, one more time, you're counting 55 to 74. And in the second one, you're counting uh, 75 to 94, and so on. So for the first one, 55 to 74, uh, 55 to 74, that's just one number. 55 to 74, so let's put one there. Now, how many numbers between 75 and 94? 75 and 94, there are only two numbers there. Let's use a different color, so there's two of them there. So that's how you do the counts. And then 95 to 115, 95 to 115, that's there. Uh, and I'm going to color that something different. Let's go with, I don't know, green. So 95 to 115, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers, so it's 5, and then 115 to 135, there we go, and let's use, I don't know, let's say yellow for that, yeah, that's a good color, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so there's 8 of them there. And last but not least, 135 to 155, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's four of them there. And there is your uh, grouped frequency table for this data set. Okay, so the yellow is a grouped frequency table. And let's do the same thing here. Here, my for part for number four, my values range from 5 to 25. 
So if I make my classes and then frequencies and then make these columns a little row wider so I can fit them. All right, so for my classes, I have five to 25. So let's see, five to 10, let's go with that. Uh, don't worry about that, 10 to 15, five to 10, 10 to 15, uh, 15 to 20. And now you're gonna have and then 20 to 25. And since 25 is the last number, you need one more. Because remember, you don't count the upper class limit, so that counts only 20 to 24, and you have a 25. So for that, you need an extra row, 25 to 30. Now, how do you change these dates to numbers? Because if you write uh, 5 to 10, uh, 5 to 10, it thinks that you're putting in a date. How do you fix that? You select the ones that give you that kind of a problem. You see what happens in the number, it turns into a format. You need to turn it into a text. And then you can type over it. So now you can write five to 10 and there'll be no problems. See, 10 to 15. So that's how you get rid of the dates that appear. Turn the format of the cell into text. See, text, text. All right. So 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. That's perfect. Now, how many numbers are between 5 to 9? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the first count is 4. How many numbers are between 10 to 14? That many numbers. Let me turn that into green. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers are there. And then how many numbers are between 15 and 19? There, and let's use a different color for that. Let's use orange for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them there. And then for 20 to 25, there's only three, actually 24. And there's only one number from 25 up, which is 25 itself. And there's the frequency table for number four. Now here it says draw the histogram. Uh, since these are value, uh, range of values, not distinct values, I don't have to worry about deleting that top number. Empty cell here, so you can just select the whole thing and go to insert, then you could do a bar chart. And of course, remember, you have to connect the columns, so right-click, format data series, and just turn the gap width into zero. And there's your frequency table. I mean, a histogram for the frequency table. That part is not easy. There you go. Histogram. Excellent. And this does it for number three and four. So let's move on to number five.